Good morning. Welcome to today's video. Today we are doing a toy market thrift haul. So we are doing it as a collab with the one and only Miss Kenya or Terry Kenya. I know you guys know her. If you don't, I'm going to be linking her channel down below. So I'm just making breakfast real quick um, for me to get ready and full for the day. I wanted to have um, tea, sausages and toast. But KPLC decided I just do um, blue band and jam for my bread. So that's it for my breakfast. Nothing much uh, because I was in a hurry. And let's just go and meet up with her. And I know it's going to be an amazing, amazing video. We are thrifting everything, everything. So this is Terry. I'm going to be pinning her name and the link to her channel down below. You need to check out her content, guys. She has amazing content that i know i know you will love at us after shopping <laughs> okay, i'm sweating uh, we are exhausted my goodness we are fatigued we are hungry hungry <sighs> <sighs> yeah 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 so what do you think about the decor pieces here i think i i don't even think it's worth trying buying decor items here because <laughs> no. one you won't get exactly what you want and two they are yes. very pricey yes. like how how uh, why would you buy a jar for 1200 kenyan shillings mm -hmm. and the same jar goes for a thousand bob 800 bob in other shops and a new one a new one yeah. a new one yeah the prices are overrated all in the name of XUK are yeah. better quality than new products. So there are some things that are affordable like carpets. Yeah. If you're yeah. on a budget, you yeah. can get a lightweight carpet that you can throw in the washer, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, and uh, again, I feel like the carpets are unique. It's not something you would get in Kamukuji, yeah. honestly. Yeah, yeah, they're quite unique. So there are a few pieces that we got. Um, let's get home and then we'll show you what we got. We got some pretty, pretty pieces. You pretty guys nice should pieces. continue watching ah, this Terry, video. Terry, say hi. You didn't say hi to <laughs> the people in this channel. <laughs> I feel like I belong here. <laughs> Hello guys, my name is Miss Kenya. You can follow me on both Instagram and YouTube. Yes. Terry Kenya, Miss Kenya, all, mm. all of those will lead you to my page. Yes. Yeah. So I'm going to be linking the part two of this haul down in the description box below. So make sure you head over to her channel, subscribe and show her some love. Road to 50,000 subbies. Yes, yes, and road to 100, yeah? Okay. By the end of the year, we should get that silver button. Amen. Even you as well. Amen. It is possible. Yeah. It is possible. Guys, she has amazing content. So make sure you check out her channel immediately after this. Watch the part two. So we're going to do half of the whole on my channel and half of the whole 
on her channel and then comment your favorite pieces down below let us know what you like what you think is affordable or pricey let us know what you think down in the comment section below and see you guys at home Yes, and before then, uh -huh, I, uh -huh. I, I feel like most people here know Gekomba. Yes. So let us know which market you prefer because, ah. yeah, be, be between Toy and Gekomba. Yes. Based on the prices and the mm -hmm. quality. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Sure, that would be amazing. So let's converse in the comment section, right? Yes. See you guys at home. Bye. Hey guys, so first of all, please forgive me about the reflection on my glasses. Um, most of the time I shoot my videos without my glasses because of the light reflection But today I just have a migraine headache that is not going away And I'm not willing to let go of my glasses because the light is going to affect me So for today, please bear with me. So I'm just going if I look straight um, The reflection is too much. You guys can see my eyes But I'm going to be to talk when I have tilted my head slightly because of that um, so uh, this is probably three or four days after we did the shopping haul um, We had planned to do the unboxing haul together either in my house or Terry's house But uh, something came back came up on that day and we were not able to do that So we decided we we're going to be doing this So make sure after you watch what I got she got some pretty nice stuff Make sure you check out her channel. Her link is over here. This is the name of her channel um, check her out and I'm going to be linking the exact link I'm going to be leaving the exact link to her YouTube channel down in the description box below and It's going to be the first pinned comment as well. So let me just get to the haul Immediately so that day I got a couple of stuff. I got um, a few outfits for Ayana I got a few outfits for myself not as much as I wanted to get but I did get a few uh pieces and then i got beddings i got a few decor pieces let me tell you guys first of all toy market is expensive when it comes to decor oh my goodness it is expensive i had planned to get so many things but i couldn't there were um like a couple of vases that i was seeing and i totally loved them especially the shades of the colors and all that but when you inquire the price, it's more expensive than buying a new one. I mean, it just didn't add up or make sense. I don't know why the core pieces are so expensive at Toy. And they are thrifted. They're just giving you this notion of, um, you know, this is XUK. It's better quality than new ones. Like, please. That doesn't even add up. The fact that it's not new as much as they're talking about the quality. I feel like it's a bit too much at this point. I would just advise you guys, if you're looking for decor pieces, don't even waste your time going to toy. Okay? Don't even waste your time to go to toy. Um, I'd rather, you'd rather even shop with Jojo. Jojo, be aware with Jojo. She sells thrifted items on her Insta stories every Tuesday and Thursday. And her prices are way more affordable than many of the pieces that we saw at Toy Market. So I'm sorry I started the, the video with complaining, but I just had to let it out. I got a few pieces. I actually got a bedroom carpet, guys. I am so happy. So the first item that I got is this vase or vase. I got this vase from Toy. This one was 700 shillings after bargaining. After bargaining. <laughs> After, oh my goodness, I bargained so much to get this one at 700 Bob, They were selling it at 1500 which is not worth it. But I totally loved this size. I want to use it as a jar for um, fresh roses, as a vase for my fresh roses in the bedroom. So I want to get rid of this at Fisher Flowers. And this one is a bit small, so this is bigger and i totally love it it's not as big as a dining dining table um vase but it's medium sized and i think this would work perfectly for my bedroom the next item i got is this floater it's a one cup coffee floater um this one was also being sold for a thousand five hundred <laughs> excuse me what <laughs> I bargained until we got it at 600 but let me tell you Terry is a good bargainer 
what if i were by myself i would have gotten these pieces probably the vase for i would have gotten this one probably for 1200 and this one maybe also for 1200 but i got this one for 600 shillings uh which i feel like i've seen cheaper ones at jojo but since i know she she doesn't have them in stock right now i got this one in the meantime this coffee floater um oops sorry so i got this coffee floater from there at 700 bob so guys for the copy says just go to jojo just go to jojo save yourself the hassle and stress of going all the way there because they are too expensive but if you feel like you'd like to check out a few items please feel free i'm not totally bashing out to a market you know i'm just saying comparison to new pieces they are a bit expensive on the higher side is i i mentioned that i got a carpet and i think i'm going to be showing you that as the last piece as i'm showing you the beddings the bedding that i got um so right now let me show you guys real quick what i got for ayana i just have them here i got this pair of tights they're really nice and stretchy and comfortable so this is the first set i think i'll check i'll check and confirm if i have the contact of the lady who sold me these ones because i just went direct to a friend when i had a store back at toy market i noted her items are really good quality so there are outfits that you can get and your baby can rock them out when you're going somewhere and they are good and affordable so this tight was 200 shillings um i got a, a pair of sweats um as you guys can see they are in really good quality really good state sorry um i got these sweats as well i think i got another pair of sweats um here's another pair of sweats they're really nice and in good condition um when it comes to kids clothes i kind of prefer to a market of a gikomba the hassle of getting outfits in gikomba is crazy like you have to go through and dig and do all that i feel like it's a bit too much for kids clothes um for adults i feel like you can check out a few in gikomba but the hassle in Gikomba is just too much. Now, if you want the comfort, go to Toy, but rest assured, you're going to get items at a higher, higher price. So this is a pair of, I don't want to call them tights. They are jeans. I also got another pair of blue jeans that are really pretty, but she already wore them and they're dirty. So these jeans are in really nice condition and they fit them so well i've had quite a hassle getting jeans for her because she doesn't like jeans that are really tight on the waist you know so this kind of jeans that have the elastic band on the waistline are her type of jeans so that's what i got i think i got one more pair of jeans which i said um is dirty i also got this cute cute top cute cute top and it fits her very well i love the fact that the neck the neck is in good condition so for me when i'm thrifting uh outfits i check the neck i check the hands and the armpits to make sure that they don't have any stains and yeah this one was a very pretty top he's a uh, her favorite her current favorite top is this one um it's really pretty guys it's really pretty and i feel like they look like they're new once you eye on these outfits they're in very good condition so as i said i'll pin her contact if i get it in my co in my in my contacts i'm going to pin it in the description box below if maybe you're looking for kids outfits so that you don't have to go walking around and looking for so many other contacts um here's another pair of tights these are white tights imagine these are drifted and they're totally white of course they have been cleaned but let me tell you guys they didn't have a single stain on them so i got her these white leggings or tights as you prefer to call them and then here's another really pretty top that she loved and they fit her so well so here's another top um 
another really cute one i totally like this these tops uh, let me tell you they're not just for staying at home this one she can rock them to church and all that i feel like it's a good place to get nice kids clothes for simple days when um you feel like you don't want the kids to overdress or your kids to overdress um i got this cute um dress uh, this is how it looks. It has the shape of a dangaree, but it's not a dangaree over here It has like fake pockets and all that. It's really pretty and cute This is how it looks. It fits her so well and it's in great and perfect condition um, I also got her a denim dress that she already wore like Ayana, she's that kind of girl that you love to gift her. Every time you get her something and it's cute and pretty and she loves it, she wants to wear it immediately. So we had to, I had to make sure all the clothes are washed because um, she wanted to just wear all of them at once. So that's it for Ayana's outfits. I got myself a couple of outfits. Not many, I think like five pieces or something. So I just want to show them to you guys. So let me first set up the camera. So what I'm actually wearing is thrifted. This is the first outfit that I got. Um, it's uh, somehow of a jumpsuit. No, it's not somehow of a jumpsuit. It is a jumpsuit. It's very light. Um, I love how it looks and how it feels. This is more of weekend vibes. I don't feel like it's a bit, it's too official or I would go to maybe a very serious place with this outfit. But um, it's a very nice and comfortable outfit. It fits me very well. I love the fit. I love how it's light and airy so this is the first outfit that i got from toy guys look at this dress i love it i saw this dress i couldn't believe i got it um for 500 shillings but they all the outfits i showed you guys you got them for 500 shillings so it's a very nice um casual dress i feel like you can still wear it officially I love this detail I love this detail so um, this is how it looks it has three colors I love it I feel like you can rock it like this or you can accessorize it with a belt and I just love it this one this one this one I totally totally love it I feel like um, for this one let me just say it in Swahili hapa I feel like this was a good good purchase. And putting a belt on this outfit just makes it look totally different and official at the same time. It just adds more class onto it. But I love the detail. I love how it fits me so well and how it's um free. It's very comfortable. I love the fabric. It's light. So perfect for this weather, guys. I think this is the best outfit that I got. Um, the others are a bit too casual, but this one, I can go with it to work on a date or something. Um, just something official and casual at the same time. So here's the next outfit. And I love this pants. This, this top, I have, I have I've, I've had this top for a while. Um, but it was also thrifted. So I just wait to show you guys how these pants look. They look amazing. They fit me so well. They are official, kind of official. Not, not kind of official. They are official. Um, they fit me so well. I love the color. This color. This color is why I got them. And then when I just put them on, they fitted me so well. So here is another top that I got. It's a tee, but it has these very pretty details on the shoulders that I loved. I totally love this. My, this is like my daily look on a daily basis where we are shopping and all that. It's, it's very simple and white. Quite goes well with anything but I feel like the blues are just blending so well and that's it this was the last piece that I wanted to show you guys and I told you that we didn't get a lot of time to get a lot of items also I felt like I didn't get 
the kind that of outfits that I was hoping I would get. I really wanted to get some nice fancy dresses and all that, but I didn't manage to get them. But I think there is, and we can do this maybe another time or another day. So now let me show you guys the beddings that I got and show you my bedroom carpet. I'm super excited about the carpet. I got this duvet cover. My goodness. I love it. See the texture. I just wanted you guys to see the detail in the texture. Man, I love, love it. And it's totally white. I love the fact that it's not stained. It's in very good condition. And I just love the fabric. It feels absolutely amazing. Unfortunately, unfortunately, they didn't have a lot of textured duvet covers. So I only got one piece. I only got one piece. I wish I could get more. Um, probably more with maybe some pom-poms and stuff and other patterns and details. But um, this one, focus, focus. Yeah, this texture is really nice. So what I want to do, I haven't actually spread it on the bed yet. So I want to insert it in the duvet cover, then show you guys how it actually looks. Um, what I also got is an extra pair of pillowcase, pillowcases. I didn't get bed sheets there. I felt like they were just too expensive for no apparent reason. And I could get the exact same bed sheets at Gikomba at half the price so i didn't get bed sheets from toy the only thing that i got were these um white pillowcases to match with the duvet cover so let's change my beddings guys and let's see how this one is going to be looking i'm all done and this is how it looks i just love how it looks i love the texture it looks really really nice on the bed I love it. I love it. So I changed um, the pillow covers because the ones that I had, they were the striped ones and they were too white. So I got a shade of white that matches the cover so that it doesn't look like, you know, um, there's competition here so that the, to the white tones are matching. And um i just love how it looks it looks absolutely different and i love this one i wish i could get more i wish i could get um more duvet covers but i'm going to be shopping for more i don't think i'll be going back to thrifted um beddings not unless terry takes me to where she got hers um in gikomba because she got a very nice pieces in her before video it's, but i just love the texture um it's not very visible in the camera but i can see the difference and it's really nice and pretty if you're on a tight budget i think what you would do you can get um a thrifted carpet even though the quality is lower to the regular carpet let me show you guys what i mean you see um it's very it's light this ones you can throw them in the washing machine and clean them as frequently as possible also i feel like it's very prone to dirt and dust you can see how slim it is so probably if you're in a on a budget you can get a thrifted rug you can see how um thin and slender it is but if you're looking for quality i would say isli has the best rugs or maybe new rugs are the best but this one will serve me because um maybe if you're new here um i had mentioned in the previous video that my carpet was stolen from the car wash and i couldn't get it back so i got something that would um sustain me for a while but i feel like for 2000 shillings because we got this for 2k for 2000 shillings this one was actually a good bargain so if you're on a budget you can get rugs thrift thrifted rugs um and the fact that it's plain i just love how plain it is because it blends very well um with my bedroom so i feel like this was a nice deal and it fitted well it's slightly smaller than a regular five by eight because it doesn't go all the way but it covers the area where i'm stepping really nice um it's not as comfy and fluffy as a regular 
um, as a new carpet but if you're on a budget this is actually a good bargain so i feel like once i get um that perfect rug i'm going to be using this just to replace it to use it for a couple of days when i have cleaned my carpet and it was a good purchase for 2k i think it was worth it it was totally worth it i feel like this haul was mixed up because I got, I was showing you guys everything that I got from outfits to carpets and beddings and everything. But I just wanted to show you guys what I got from Toy. Let me know down in the comment section below what you think, which pieces you liked or maybe what you didn't like. But I feel like some of the pieces I got them because they were, yeah, they were good, not stunning. But I love um, probably 70% of the pieces. The, other, the others, I like them. I like them not really love, but I like them. Let me know down in the comment section below what stood out for you, what you really liked. And I would just love to get to know your feedback. So click here to subscribe and click here and here to watch more of my videos and i know you guys are going to enjoy them so thank you so much for watching today's video if you haven't subscribed subscribe here